Okay mga kawaw, what in this video we will discuss if-then statements. Our objectives, we will define hypothesis and conclusion. We will identify hypothesis and conclusion in a conditional statement. And we will determine the relationship between hypothesis and conclusion of an if-then statement. So, before we proceed to um, identifying the hypothesis and the conclusion, so let us define first what is a conditional statement. So, pag sinabi natin conditional statement, nagbibigay siya ng condition. Okay? So, we can come up with a conclusion. Okay? So, para nagbibigay siya ng pag ganito, ganyan, so ano ang maiisip mong conclusion doon? That's why it's called conditional. Okay? So, a conditional statement is a compound statement of the form if P, then Q, where P and Q are the statements. So, uh, pag sinabi natin conditional statement, it is a compound. Ibig sabihin, pinagsama. So, meron tayong dalawang statements. Ano yung dalawang statement na yun? Yun po yung P natin at yung Q. Okay? So, if P, then Q. Okay? So, this is the condition. Okay? So, if P, this is your uh, first statement, then Q, this is your second statement. So, pinagsama siya, that's why it's called compound. So, pinagsama siyang statement, so pag meron tayo nun, that is what we call the conditional statement. So, remember that the first statement, which is your P, so ito po yung P natin, ito po siya, is called the hypothesis and usually begins with if. So, tatandaan po na kapag uh, meron tayong statement or conditional statement and then uh, nakita mo yung word na if, yung kasunod niya na statement, that is your hypothesis. Kasi kadalasan, ang hypothesis natin ay makikita mo after ng word na if. Okay? While the second statement, which is your Q, ito po siya. Okay? This is usually begins with then, okay, so kung sa hypothesis, if sa conclusion natin, then po ang makikita natin. So, after ng then, yung katsunod niya na statement, that is what we call the conclusion. Okay, so tatandaan na yung people natin is your hypothesis which is usually uh, begins with F, if and then yung atin pong conclusion which is your Q which is uh, usually begins with then. Okay, let's have an example. So, if I have here a con conditional statement, so if, okay, so if this is your statement, this is your hypothesis, which is your P, then this is your statement, this is your conclusion, this is your Q. Okay, so if hypothesis, then conclusion. Okay, so if hypothesis, then conclusion. So, madali nating ma-identify sa hypothesis kasi madalas after siya ng word na if at si conclusion, madalas after siya ng word na then. Okay, now, remember that the words if and then are not part of the hypothesis and conclusion. So, kapag nag-identify po tayo ng hypothesis and conclusion, yung hypothesis po natin, ito lang po. Hindi po natin isasama si if. Ganon din po kay conclusion. So, hindi po kasama si then. Okay? So, let us define what is a hypothesis. It is a tentative assumption made in order to draw out and test its logical or empirical consequences. So, ito po yung nagbibigay tayo ng um, tawag na ito, condition. So, kapag ganito, if, kaya nga if, okay, or when, minsan when ang makikita natin dyan. When the, when the grass is green, ganyan, then the sky is blue. Ganon. So, uh, madalas if, minsan may mababasa tayong when. So, yun na mga parang pinakapalatandaan natin that yung next statement niya is the hypothesis. Okay? So, if it's after if or when. Okay? Now, so, hypothesis, ito yung magbibigay siya ng assumption. So, magbibigay siya ng description, definition, or a condition. Okay? Well, the conclusion, this is the necessary consequence of one or more propositions takes as premises. So, from here, from your hypothesis, meron ka ngayong makukonclude. 
So from your hypothesis, ano yung nabuo mong konsepto? O ano yung result? O ano yung possible na mangyari? That is the conclusion. Okay? Out of the assumption or conditions or um, um, anong tawag nito, ang um, mga um, definitions, ano yung concept na mabubuo mo or ano yung conclusion? Or what are the possible uh, solu- result? Okay? So, yun po yung ating conclusion. What can you conclude out of the given hypothesis? Okay? So, let's start. So, let us identify the hypothesis and conclusion. So, let's have number one. If a number is greater than zero, then the number is positive. So, again, your hypothesis, which is your P, that, that is always after if, kung nandyan si if, and then since meron tayong then, then madali natin ma-identify si Q, yung ating conclusion. So, Ah, uh, ganito para mas madali nating maintindihan, ah, uh, yung hypothesis i-underline natin, yung yung P. Yung ating uh, conclusion ibabox natin which is your Q. So you can uh, see it clearly. Okay? So if a number is greater than 0, underline natin sa hypothesis that is your P kasi after if and then after then that is your conclusion, the number is positive. So this is your Q. This is your conclusion. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, binigyan kayo ng statement, conditional statement, and then you are asked to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, tingnan nyo kung may if at then. Kasi yun ang pinaka uh, madaling, uh, ano na tawag nito? Q. Okay? Yun ang pinaka madaling Q para malam, ay, ito, this is the hypothesis kasi may if. After if. And then, conclusion after then. Okay, so, therefore, the hypothesis is the number is greater than zero. And then, your conclusion is the number is positive. Okay, sometimes you have to rewrite or rephrase your uh, hypothesis and conclusion. So, make sure na i-construct natin siya ng maayos. Okay? And then, number two. If the base angles of a triangle are equal, then the triangle is isosceles. Okay? So, our uh, hypothesis here, which is your P, is the base angles of a triangle are equal. Our conclusion, box natin, the triangle is isosceles. So, this is your Q. This is your conclusion. Okay? So, therefore, your hypothesis is the base angles of a triangle are equal. Your conclusion is the triangle is isosceles. Okay? So, ma- madali siyang ma-identify kapag may if at then. Next. If uh, 3 times the quantity of n plus 1 is equal to 6, then n is equal to 1. So, sabi ko nga pag conclusion, par- result din siya, no? Possible result. Okay? So, therefore, this is your hypothesis. That is your P. Then, n is equal to 1, this is your um, this is your conclusion. Okay? So, therefore, your hypothesis is 3 times the quantity of n plus 1 is equal to 6, and then your conclusion is n is equal to 1. Alright? Let's have another. So, what if the words if and then are not present in the given statement? So, paano kapag Hindi mo nakita si if and then. Eh, di ba, ma'am, uh, mas madaling makita yung uh, hypothesis at conclusion kasi yung hypothesis after ni if. Yung conclusion after ni then. What if hindi given si uh, if at then? So, eto po siya. Dapat alam pa rin natin kung paano mag-identify ng hypothesis at conclusion. So, I have here, getting enough sleep is good to your health. Okay. So, which one do you think is yung hypothesis and conclusion. Pag sinabing conclusion, ito yung kalalabasan. Okay? Ito yung possible result. Or ito yung conclude mo. So, therefore, this is your P. This is your hypothesis. This is your conclusion. Okay? So, para magkaroon ka ng uh, malusog na pangangatawan, then you're supposed to get enough sleep. Okay? So, dapat marunong din po tayong mag-identify ng hypothesis and conclusion even without the word if and then. 
Okay, so kagaya nito, getting enough sleep is good to your health. So, ito po siya. So, this is your P hypothesis, this is your Q, which is your conclusion. Kasi, ito yung kalalabasan, magiging malusog ka or maayos ang pangangatawan mo pag uh, meron kang tamang tulog. Okay, so therefore, our hypothesis is getting enough sleep, our conclusion is good to your health. Okay, so aalisin na po natin yung is. Okay, next, number five. So, an integer that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 is an odd integer. So, our um, hypothesis here, your P is an integer that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, anong concept ito? Add integer. So, this is your conclusion. This is your Q. Okay? So, your hypothesis is an integer that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And your conclusion, it is an odd integer. So, i -re rephrase natin, i -re reconstruct natin yung ating um, sentence. So, minsan kailangan po natin gawin yun. So, kagaya nito, is an odd integer. So, pwede kang gumamit ng mga pronoun. It, she, he, mga ganun po. So, it is an odd integer. Okay? Next. All prime number are numbers with no other factor aside from one in itself. So, alin kaya dito yung um, definition? So, diba? And then, alin yung conclude mo? So, prime number. So, this is your um, hypothesis and this is your conclusion. Now, ano ang pinagkaiba nito dun sa mga previous example natin? So, as you can see, not all the time na ang conclusion natin ay laging nasa second statement or yung hypothesis natin ay laging nasa unahan. Okay? Hindi po palaging ganun. So, I'm giving you an example wherein the hypothesis and the conclusion ay hindi po laging nandun sa pwesto nila na si hypothesis lagi nasa unahan at si conclusion nasa huli. Okay? So, in this example sa number 6, Yung ating conclusion ay nasa unahan, yung ating P o yung ating hypothesis ay nasa second statement natin. Okay? So, in this example, your hypothesis is the numbers with no other factor aside from one in itself. And then, our conclusion is it is a prime number. Okay, let's have another. You have a fever if your body temperature is above 37.6 degrees. Okay. So, you identify natin ang hypothesis and the conclusion. Okay. So, this is your hypothesis. Okay. So, yun ang parang kailangan mo munang maakuha. And then, this is your conclusion. This is your cue. So, Paano ko ba nalalaman? Ma'am, paano po nalalaman yung hypothesis and conclusion? Pag sinabi kasi natin conclusion, yun yung na, na come up mo, yun yung na buo mong idea based doon sa nakuha mong hypothesis. So, ibi, parang ganito, kapag ang nakuha kong temperature ay 37.6 degrees, may sakit ako. ba So, yung conclusion, yun yung end yun yung naiisip mong, um, yun yung nakukonclude mo kapag uh, meron kang isang condition na uh, ibinigay. Okay? So, this is your hypothesis. This is your conclusion. Okay? So, your hypothesis is your body temperature is above 37.6 degrees. And then, your conclusion is you have a fever. So, again ha, do not, for, do not forget that your if and then are not included in your statements or hypothesis and conclusion. Next, you will accomplish your goal if you will do your best. So, ito yung ifo. Yan ang palatandaan mo. So, this is your hypothesis. This is your P. Okay? And then, this is your Q. This is your conclusion. So, your hypothesis is you will do your best. Your conclusion is you will accomplish your goal. Next, Collinear points are points that lie on the same line. So, ito po, para masabi natin collinear points, so, ibig sabihin, this is the conclusion. Ito yung kanyang a definition. Ito yung kanyang condition. So, dapat naglalay sila sa same line para matawag natin silang collinear points. So, therefore, this is your hypothesis, this is your P, and this is your conclusion. This is your Q. Okay, so, P, 
Q. So, tatandaan na ang P, that is your hypothesis, ang Q, that is your conclusion. So, your hypothesis is points that lie on the same line. And then, your conclusion, they are collinear. Okay. So, since, ma'am, bakit hindi po nilagay na they are collinear points? So, since meron naman na tayong points dito, it's okay kahit hindi mo na ilagay yung points. Okay? So, points that lie on the same line, they are collinear. Okay, so it's time for you to test yourself. So, I'm giving you a one minute to answer. If the time is not enough, you may pause the video. So, underline the hypothesis and box the conclusion of each of the following conditional statements. So, paki-underline po yung ating hypothesis and box nyo po yung ating conclusion. Now, take note that the words if and then are not part of the hypothesis and conclusion. So, let us answer. So, ito po ang ating answer. So, make Make sure to check your answers properly. If you got pa five, congratulations. Let's have another. So, I'm giving you a Venn diagram, two sets of Venn diagram, and I want you to give me the conditional statement using if and then. Okay, let us check. So, the first di Venn diagram, if a number is a positive integer, then it is is a whole number. Okay? Next, if the figure is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. Or pwede rin namang, if it is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. Pwede rin pong ganun. So, it's up to you, no? Um, pwede kang gumamit, pwede kang mag-rephrase, pwede kang mag- um, pwede kang mag- uh, mag-isip ng mga pronoun. It's up to you. So, if the figure is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. Or, kung meron sumagot ng if it is a square, then it is a quadrilateral. So, I hope you got perfect. Congratulations! Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.